Many of the shots you hit in the game of golf are going to be hit off the ground and many of those will be hit with irons. And so to be a good iron player, you have to purge the urge. That's going to be a key thought here, to purge the urge. The urge for most people is to try and get under the ball, to try and lift the ball. We've got to purge the urge to get under the ball. And we've got to learn that really hitting good irons is much more about pulling than it is pushing the club into the ball. Being a good iron player is imperative no matter what standard of golfer you are. That's how you can really start to bring your scores down. And we're going to show you how to do that right now. Now we're going to start to add more detail to our learning. When you're hitting an iron, it is important to realize the club must be traveling somewhat downwards when you hit the ball. It's too easy for beginners to think you've got to lift the ball in the air. You don't. Listen to me on this one. The loft, which means the angle of the club, the loft creates the lift. It is the loft of the club that creates the lift. And in fact, with an iron, it may surprise you to know that actually we are hitting down on the ball at the moment we strike it, somewhat down at the ball. Now that doesn't mean that when you swing, you try and hit down on it. There's things in the golf swing that create that downward hit. And that's what I want to talk about to narrow the focus here. You have to purge the urge to get under the ball. We all want to see the ball go in the air. And because of that, so many of us, especially beginners, are trying to get under the ball and lift it. That's the wrong way to go. We have to know that hitting the ball and then touching the ground, hitting down on the ball is what's going to make the ball go up in the air. Hitting down and then ball then ground is going to make the ball go up in the air. Now, what creates that? What creates that is having made that foolish swing that you have to pull more than you push you pull the club with a bit of weight shift, you pull the club with a bit of rotation, you pull the club with a little bit of arm action so that you're over here before the club comes down. Now, let me hit one for you and see if I can pull more than I push. So slow motion, I would be going here, I'm parallel, I'm turning, I'm pointing, I'm pretty much all the way up. I'm shifting the weight a little bit because I'm pulling the club, I'm pulling the club, I'm coming down, it's coming down on the ball, it's hitting the ball and then it's scraping the ground. Pull more than you push. I'll hit one here and then I'm going to give you an image and then I'm going to give you a couple of drills to help you pull more than you push and to purge that urge of trying to get under the golf ball. So this is more in real time. Again, I'm aiming the face, I've got my grip, I've got the lines across the body. I'm going to pull more than I push. Here we go. Up we go. There we go. That was decent enough. Pull more than I push. Now, I said I was going to give you an image. I was going to give you a drill. And I'm going to give you one thing you can practice that's really going to help you that you could do at home. So the image would be, we've all done this. We've all been at the airport. We've all pulled one of these along the way. If you were thinking golf, you wouldn't pull it with your trail hand. If you were thinking golf, you'd take your lead hand and you would pull it that way. Now, I'm not just pulling with my arm. I think you can see that. I'm not just pulling with my arm. I'm actually pulling with my legs a little bit. I'm pulling with my shoulders a little bit. And my feel when I hit my best shots is almost like my golf swing is that way, as if I've pull something and then the club speeds up at the bottom. Actually, when you're really swinging, you are pulling. That would be uh, one person's definition of swinging, that you're pulling. So if I can have you with the image that you'd be pulling um, a little sort of carry case or a bit more golf-like, this one I would love for you to do at home, a bit more golf-like, if you had a towel, a long towel, and you tied a knot in the end of it, and you practiced a bit like the weight in the string going forwards and then up and that that will give you the feeling of pulling the golf club you wouldn't be able to scoop with a towel you wouldn't be able to throw a towel under anything and make it look anything like a golf swing so if you can have that feeling of pulling with the body pulling in the initial stage of the downswing just as if you were 
hitting with a towel with a knot in it, then you've got something. So let me hit a couple here, trying to put all this lot together, and then there'll be one more really nice drill at the end of this segment to help you. So club face first, grip, stance and posture, nice big swing, pull the club a little bit coming down. That would be just fine. I'd be more than happy with that. And my feel there most certainly was there was some pulling with the club as I'm coming down. Now, one last drill to show you here, more of a rehearsal than for hitting golf balls, I must say, more of a rehearsal. But all these things that I'm giving to you or suggesting to you, let's say that, well, most of them you can do at home. This is a pool noodle, a swim pool noodle, that I've attached to a shaft of a golf club. I've secured it with a rubber band. And I call this fold, hold, and get the gold. If you fold your trail arm properly, if you cock the wrist as if you're using the coat hanger, at some point in that swing, that pull noodle will hit your trail shoulder. This is really important for golf. As you're coming down, you need that pool noodle to stay against your trail shoulder for a good amount of the downswing. It's way too easy to be doing that too early in the downswing for most people. So it's fold, meaning fold the trail elbow, hold, meaning hold the trail elbow so the pool noodle stays there, and then if you do that, you'll get all the gold at the end of the round. You'll win all the money. So it's fold, hold, get the gold. Let me put all that together for you. So that's narrowing your focus with irons. It's making the iron swing a bit more of a descent. It's getting away from this urge to get under the ball. We're purging the urge. So I'm going to fold it. I'm going to hold it and I'm looking for a bit of gold after I've hit it. And if I do those things, I can expect to hit some very nice iron shots. Something like that. Fold, hold, expect the gold.